Hello everyone, I am Midnight and Blaze at the same time on the same channel. Welcome back to uh, Blaze finishes the rest of Dark Souls 3 by himself. Uh, in the last episode, I got butt raped by some Corvians, and then I got butt raped again by a uh, uh, Dark Wraith. So hopefully there will be none of that in this episode. But before we go, actually right outside this area is where the uh, Dark Wraiths from the last episode were. And uh, we might be meeting up with them really soon. But I want to go over here and fight these guys first. We have some gurus that I can take out. And these guys actually give you a little bit more experience than usual. And then there's this guy. We saw this guy earlier. Or at least I think we did. Hello. You're not menacing or terrifying in any way. I tried to dodge. Honestly, this is the point where the, these guys become less scary. We get two Titanite scales for that, or maybe it was three. I don't know. And over here, we get great magic weapon. If I was a sorcerer type player, that would be useful. Cool. So now that door's open. I'm probably not ever going to have to use that door. But, you know, it's there. So now there's a hole I could have gone through somewhere. I think it's right here. Here we go. Hold on. So I want to stop. I want to go down here. And if I jump down there, I can't get back up. No, yes, I can. Well, I can't get back up from this point, period. But there's atonement right here, which I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use any of these. And then the hollow gem, if I wanted to use that, which I don't, I don't think I'm going to. And you know what? I'm going to... It's not on my quit menu. All right, I'll put that on really quick because I'm going to use a homeward bone. And go back to the future. Back to the Shrine Bonfire. I have more than enough points to level up. And level ups are what we're going to need to fight the Abyss Watchers. Something I hope to at least attempt to do in this episode. Hello, Firekeeper. Welcome home, speak very well Let's level up, shall we? Now, what are we going to level up? Let's see. Health. We're good with stamina for now. I might do more health. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I can't level up my raw sword anymore because that's just how that is. The dexterity will... What will increase my fire defense strength? And that will still up my overall points and damage for anything that isn't my right hand weapon number two. But I think if I also get... No, that's just lightning and dark, as well as atonement, endurance, same thing. Okay, so we're going to go for strength, unless vitality does it too. Vitality actually doesn't touch fire. Okay, so we'll do some strength. Just a little bit of a little bit of fire protection never hurt anybody. There's a lot of fire in this area. The boss likes to use fire, so let's. Oh wait, I never actually burnt that bone shard I got like two episodes ago. Cool. So we got that, and now we'll go. I think we're the most prepared that we can be at the level that we are to do this. So, this is the part where everyone wishes me luck and I proceed to die because I'm probably going to. No doubt. Not a doubt in my mind. But before the heavy action starts, we're going to play a little bit of Metal Gear Solid here. We're going to play very stealthily. I'm going to run out to the right and just immediately cut behind these trees. I'm going to go around here because there's a Gru over here that spits poison at you that I don't want to deal with. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let these Dark Raids handle like all of these guys here. Or at least most of them. But they're coming. Oh, they are coming. Where are they? There's one there. And you know what? I should actually be able to go around. I might grab this guy's attention. Yeah, you come over here. That's fine. I just don't want to draw the Dark Wraith's attention. Backstab. Get these guys as fast as possible. Okay, so you died behind a tree. 
I'm relatively far away. We got a rotten grew curved sword from them. That's cool. Where the hell are the dark raids? There they are. Okay, so we'll let them get wrapped up in that fight. I'll come back for this later. I think it's just an ember or maybe some rusted coins. All right. Nothing from you. That's fine. But I do want to get this. Black bug pellets. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. And then we'll kill you really quick. Cool. I'm going to ember up because fighting these guys is not a joke. Oh my god, we have people. Yes, summon this phantom. You know what? I'm going to do this because I don't mind when it comes to summoning phantoms. So hopefully I can get them into the game with me. We're going to tackle this just like we did the rotted great wood. Try lightning. Hurry up, please. God required a head. That's not a lie. Awesome. Hello, dude. All right, I think I can't summon anyone else, so he's all I'm going to have to rely on here. Sorry for being a little quiet. I'm trying to get my head on straight. Oh, cool. He's using either the same sword or Henri's sword. That's awesome. Honestly... This boss is probably the hardest, nah, I can't say the hardest one in the game, but it can be one of the hardest ones in the game if you uh, don't have a party member to help you. Because, honestly, you just need someone to be your meat shield. It is almost a requirement that you have some, that you have another target for them to focus on. And true to the Legion, even though they have been tainted by the Abyss, still maintains Legion etiquette. All right. Let's do it up. Our first Lord of Cinder. I'm so pumped. All right, let's do this. Yep, you come right for me. That's fine. Backstab, very good, very good for us. Oop, and then he awakens another one. So at half health, or I think it, after I deal a little bit of damage to these guys, they'll start to summon copies. Now what'll happen is the first, the first, well, the second Abyss Watcher that wakes up will fight against the Abyss Watcher, the main Abyss Watcher at least. And then the third one, after he gets down to half health, will fight against the Abyss, the Abyss Watcher. Or at least the main one. And these guys have lesser health, and that's fine. I'm actually not helping the guy I called, and that's a big issue. But if you thought the fight was over, you'd be wrong. There are almost two stages to every boss fight in the Lord of Cinder. All except one that I can think of. Uh, well, technically two, but there's always the part where they're unembered and then the embered form. Form. I can't even talk right for this fight. But he's absorbing the blood of the rest of the Watchers, which enembers him. And now we're going to try doing this again. But this time, he gets fire. So I'm going to hope that my point into strength and all of the one extra fire resistance I get is going to help me out here. So, let's do this. Continue the fight. Someone is texting me. Shit. Let's get out of there. Oh, 
I hope this guy that's playing with me can see that I'm not actually a noob. Dude, my poise was just enough to fuck him up a little bit. I like that he's using the armor of thorns. I like it when I can see Kirk on a good day. Kick ass. Shit. Shouldn't have had to eat that. Shit. Just wake up. Just get up. Let's heal. And for the jump attack. Thank you so much, sir. Well, let's toast in honor of our friendship. I guess. No, he's leaving. All right, cool. So I got a couple things here. Sunlight Metal for that guy helping me out because he was a sun bro. Uh, Soul of the Blood of the Wolf and the Cinders of a Lord. So let's go back to the shrine. Uh, that fight took a little bit longer than I thought. I was going to try fighting him on my own and then I'm like, I'm not going to be able to. So, I mean, like, shame on me, I guess. But, I mean, this game was made to be played with friends. Honestly. I think so. The PvP and the co-op are both set up really well. And I played through this game once before on my own for the sake of and efficiency of a let's play. I'm pretty sure, you know, so I'm not spending seven episodes here that it wouldn't be a big deal for me to just, you know, get some help on the first go. Welcome, Husby. Yeah, let's level up here. Actually, let's put into a weapon first. Oh, I didn't know Aegon was here. Uh I just dropped some time, just drop by to see how... Okay, so he's concerned about her. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen him here before, or at least, like, he blends into that fucking little corner right there. So that's cool. It's weird. I haven't played this game in a while. That actually was much easier of a fight than I expected it to be. And yeah, that guy helping definitely made it easier, but I don't know, something about it. So there's the Farron Ultra Greatsword, and then... The Wolf Knight's great sword. This is the actual sword of Artorius. This is the one I like to use. Uh, I'm not strong enough to use it yet, but that's honestly, that's okay. I probably won't end up using it, to be honest. Uh, this one, it's an ultra great sword, which I actually don't like ultra great swords. I understand that it has the uniqueness to it, but I'm actually not going to use either of these right away. I'm not going to use that soul. I'm not going to just bust it for souls, but I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use it right away. I mean, like, I do have a great sword, but I don't know. I guess I just don't have a great need for that one yet. So, no, let's not put into that. Let's put into a little bit of dex, because that'll up my sword more. My hollow great sword, hollow slayer great sword or whatever. All right, cool. So we got this going on here now. We killed a guy. Can we level up at all? Our weaponry, I mean. Confuse weapons. Confuse weapons. Raw Astora greatsword. So I think... I think it's odd that I'm just not using the Claymore in this run. I used it for so long. Raw Astora greatsword. Cool. Titanite shards. I can level this up again and I just didn't. Neat. So that's interesting. I can bust a... Uh... Do, do, do. Give me my... Let me open. Thank you. I can bust a soul right here. That uh, should be enough. Yeah, that's more than enough. Oh, that was 800. What was I thinking of? So, re not repair. Uh, reinforce weapon. I can make this a plus four weapon. Cool, much stronger. That actually would have been very useful during the boss fight, but, I mean, who am I kidding? So, I'm really curious to know what I put my fucking points into. My thingies. Did I put them in the... No? Although I could do this, and that would level it up to be much, much stronger. I don't want to be boring you guys with stats and just, Protein, just looking. Careful. Let's see what uh, Grey Rat's up to here. Oh, hand in one peak. You got nothing nothing new? All right, that's fine. Not that I could buy anything anyway if you did. Cool. So I think this has been a very productive, uh, this has been a very productive recording session for me, I think. Uh, we got through all of Farron Woods. We killed the Abyss Watchers. I might, 
I might go back to, or at least attempt to go back and uh, do the cathedral now. Uh, I've gained a couple levels, and I might be able to fight the Crystal Sage a little bit better now. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out in the next episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 3. I know this episode's gone on for a little bit longer, but I mean, hey, we fought a boss, and there was much rejoicing and all that. So uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where we will go back to fight the Crystal Sage. Uh, that like button's been where it always has been. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and tell your friends. This is Blaze for the Midnight Blaze channel signing off, and I will see you guys next time. Don't, don't do this to me, game. Wave. Wave for the people. Bye-bye. So long.